Today we're going to talk about how to take the dies out of the 2SC die head here. Uh, the Rothenberger 2SC and the 50R are similar machines, uh, difference being um, the 2SC's numbers are counterclockwise and the 50R is clockwise. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure that the size selector is out of the way and then you're going to want to lift up on this automatic release slide the T-handle over and then slide this all the way so that you're all the way past this so you're holding it like that, this is up the size selector and now you can hear the ball detent in there that these are ready to come out of there like so which is kind of a nice feature for this die head because uh, other manufacturers of similar die heads, you have to take the die head completely apart to get the dies out. This makes it much easier, which we've had issues with people calling in because they thought our die head was like other manufacturers' die heads. And they take it apart and then we have a mess because now we have to figure out how to put it back together. If you did make the mistake of taking your die head apart and now you're you have the problem of trying to put it back together. We did make a video of how to assemble and disassemble a Rothenberger 2SE die head. And you can go to our YouTube channel and look at it there. And hopefully the information will be enough for you to put it back together. If not, you can give us a call. So putting it back together, same thing, take it. One goes with slot number one, two goes with two and so on and so forth. You go until you hear the ball T-tent, which is a nice feature for them being locked into place and then being able to go back at your job. You're saving a lot of time there. Then once you come back, this automatic release drops back down. Now that that's happened, you go all the way over. These, it won't allow them to let them come out. Then you're ready to go. You just gotta select your size again and you're done.